Hi, I'm George Pearson, and in this Photoshop Elements 2020 video, we'll be looking at the new Photoshop Elements 2020 skin smoothing tool, and we'll see how that can be used as part of the process to do a photo restoration. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and, of course, hit share. Don't forget to subscribe. I do several videos every single week. And also, take a look at my new training course for Photoshop Elements 2020. There's a link for that right down there below in the description. And there's also a link for my other Photoshop Elements training courses as well. Okay, let's get to it. Let me first show you the basics of how to use the new Photoshop Elements 2020 Skin Smoothing Tool. And then we'll see how we can use that to make the process of doing a photo retouch just a little bit easier. I'm going to zoom in on this picture. You can see here we have just a couple of faces in here, a girl and a boy right there. And lots of problems as you can see here on this. I'm only going to be worrying about the faces right now. We'll save everything else for a different video. We'll be doing the faces right now. Go up here to Enhance. Come down right here and there's the new Smooth Skin tool. Now I have two copies of this. One copy has the cracks in here, and then one copy I did a, just a little bit of fast work to remove those cracks. And I did that because the skin smoothing tool doesn't seem to like this boy's face. Let me show you what I mean by that. There's the background original layer right here, and then enhance, smooth skin. It's going to find the two faces inside of the image, and we can then apply smoothing. There we go, there's the new tool. I'm going to zoom in, a little zoom tool here. Notice that it zooms in automatically on the face that's selected, has that nice light blue outline. But there's also a gray outline around this face. If you click into that gray outline, it's going to then switch over to this face. It takes it a minute to re-examine the photo. There we go. And we'll go back up here again. Now this one is working correctly for me. So this is the after, there's before. I'm going to push the smoothness slider clear to the top. There we go. So here's our before. And here's the after. Now notice that this isn't a one-stop fixes your whole photo for you kind of a tool. It does some nice skin smoothing, but it doesn't remove all the imperfections. It's not, again, a one-shot instant retouch tool. But it can be used as part of a retouch program in here using our other tools as well. So there it is before and there it is after. It does a nice job of kind of beginning to even out the work makes it a little bit easier for the regular tools on the photo retouch. We'll come back to that. Let's now come down here to the boy's face. I'll click inside the boy's face. That's now selected. I'll push the smoothing clear to the top. And notice how practically nothing changes. There's the before, there's the after. So for whatever reason, the tool is not working on this face. Now I tried that both with the cracks left in and with these cracks removed. It didn't make any difference it didn't like that face. The smooth skin tool isn't perfect and obviously it's not going to work every single time. It doesn't work on this face. You know, again, I don't know why, but that's the way it is. So we'll go up here. It does work on this. There's our before, here's our after. We'll work on the girl's face. Go ahead, when you're down here, you can click on OK. And there it is, it has now smoothed that face out nicely. Now, one thing I wanna point out right now is that when I did this smoothing, it put it right onto the same layer that I was showing here. Notice I put right onto this background layer. Now I don't like that happening. I like being able to go to my original layer. So we're going to redo that and fix that one little problem with this tool. Let's just go ahead and do an edit. Undo smooth skin. There's our original. So what I recommend that you do is make a copy of this. I'm going to remove this test copy up here. Let's get that out of the way. There's our background. Right click, duplicate layer. Make sure you're on your duplicate layer and then do your skin smoothing on this layer. That solves that problem of it applying right onto your existing layer. So you can always go back to our original, and I'll show you why you'll want to do that here in just a second. Okay, back up to Enhance, come back down to Smooth Skin. Let's go and let this figure this out once again. Now again, it still won't work on that boy's face. Again, I don't really know why it doesn't do that, but it doesn't, so let's ignore that face. So there's the girl's face, that's fine. We're going clear to the top on that one and choose OK. It now puts the smooth skin on this new layer. If I hide that, you can see there's the face and there's with and without that smoothing. Now, a couple of problems in here. You'll notice around the eyes and the nose and the mouth, just a little bit, we're losing a little bit 
especially right around in here on the eyes, a little bit of sharpness in there that we probably want to keep, and a little bit around the bottom of the nose in there. There's our smooth, there's the without the smooth, and also the jawline in here is just a little bit soft as well as there's before and after. There's also one more thing I'm going to zoom in here and point out to you. It's a little problem with the program, and there's the smooth side. Let me just zoom in here on the right hand side. I'm only seeing this on the Actually, I'm seeing over here on the left-hand side now as well this time. Before, I've only seen it on the right-hand side. And that's this line right here. Let's have a nice, strong line right there. There it is, the original, no line. And there it is, we're getting that line in there. And I'm seeing a little bit of that over in here as well. Just a hint. You can see it right there with a line and without a line. So we'll be putting in a little bit of artifacts as well as we do this. Now it's always on the outside edges. I don't see anything in here. So again, this is easy to fix. Okay, let's just back up just a little bit here. There we go. Now, this is where I like having my original in here. I can then go back and show part of the original and solve some of those problems. All we really want to have this skin smoothing for is big flat areas, big large areas like the forehead, the cheeks in here, around the chin, on the bridge of the nose, some of those areas. Everything else, we want to have it at the original. So what we'll do is we'll put a new layer mask on this layer. And with a layer mask, black hides, white shows. Right now everything is shown because the whole thing is white. So I'll go over here, grab the brush tool right there, soft edge brush. It's a 15, that's pretty good. There's a brush size right there. That's pretty good. And then simply come in and paint black onto the layer mask right over here for anything that you want to keep from the original and also just to get rid of those kind of strange lines. So I'll use this right around the edge in here of the jawline. Get rid of that little problem right there and right in here. And use it right over the top of the eyes, right there and in here. Same thing over here. So we're showing the original unsmoothed area for the eyes and the bottom of the nose and right around the mouth. And that keeps our nice sharp edges in there. But that then is really only applying the smoothing around in here. It's a little bit of the hair, but mostly it's just on the flat areas, the large areas of the face, and that's where you want to keep it. You don't want to have any smoothing on the eyes, nose, mouth, but you do want to have it on the other areas, and that solves that one problem. Okay, now let's go back over here to the photo side. I just double clicked, look for that light blue outline, that's which side of the layer you're on. And at this point, you can use any standard tool you want to do your photo retouching. I normally start off with the spot healing brush tool and I tend to like the proximity match on that. I'm using a 16 pixel brush which is that big. With this tool you can just tap on any spots that need to be cleaned up and it does a very good job of doing this. If you have lines just pull along the line like that and it usually will do a pretty good job of taking that out. This is my main go-to photo retouch tool. It's not fast but it does a very good job. Now keep in mind we are now working on the smoothed image and not the original image. So this has already been improved a bit and that helps this particular technique to be a little bit faster, a little bit cleaner. Okay, I'm going to pause the video right now and I'll take a few minutes and go through and just finish this one step. Just going through here and doing some basic spot healing in here and a little bit of clone stab on a couple of spots as well. So once that's done, then I'll bring the video right back up again. I'm, again, I'm just gonna be going through like this and using this spot healing tool and also a little bit of the clone stamp tool to get rid of as much of these little cracks and things as I possibly can. Okay, so be right back in just one second. Okay, there we go. That's after about 10 minutes work with the spot healing brush and the clone stamp brush, just removing a lot of little imperfections. Now it's pretty good. See there's the original and here's the cleaner version. It's looking pretty good, but we can actually go one step further now with that new skin smoothing tool. Let me show you how you do that. I make a copy of this layer we just did. Right click, duplicate that layer. 
There it is. There's our duplicate right here. And I'll hide the original. So here's the first original. Here's the first pass. This is our second pass up here. Let's do the exact same skin smoothing technique on this. Now notice we already have our layer mask over here. So the eyes, the nose, the mouth, and the chin are all taken care of by that layer mask. So back up to enhance, back down to smooth skin. Let it find the faces once more. And we'll hit this a second time. And I found this actually works out very, very well doing it twice. Once at the beginning and then once towards the end. Let's just zoom in on the face right here. So there's our face. There is the additional skin smoothing. Choose OK. And there we go. Actually really nice. Look at this one. And you can take this, you know, even further and do a little more work in here with the clone stamp tool. But I think that is a pretty good face. So there is our original and there is our finish. Now there's a little bit of softness up in here I don't really like. We can bring that back in by just expanding that layer mask a bit. But I think as far as the skin goes on the face, this did a very nice job. And I've tried this a few times now and it seems to me that this is a pretty good way of approaching this. Do the skin smoothing once, then do your clone stamp and spot healing brush for the second pass. And then as a third pass, go back and do one more skin smoothing and does a real nice job of really helping you with that one difficult step. Now normally in this kind of procedure, you'd be doing your clone stamp work and your spot healing work and you'd then be doing a blur filter in here trying to find just the face and the areas you wanted to blur out. Use a blur filter on that and it's basically the same thing that's happening here, but this seems to be a little more targeted and a little bit better. We're still seeing in here some of our film grain, which you want to see, and that helps to match the background and so forth, but it's doing a very, very nice job. So there you go. That is some ideas on how to use that new Smooth Skin tool. And again, it's under the Enhance menu, and it's right down there, Smooth Skin. And again, this is brand new here in Photoshop Elements 2020. Now, I did this on a black and white image, but the exact same steps will apply for a color image as well. And if you want to learn a lot more about working with Photoshop Elements 2020, take a look at my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I cover the whole program, not just these you know, few new features. Now, if you already have my training for Photoshop Elements 2019 or 2018, you won't need this new training. Just watch these new videos. I'm covering all the new stuff here in videos on YouTube. Everything else is basically the same. So if you don't have my training yet, and you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, then I highly recommend taking a look at my complete training course. And again, look for the link right down there in the description. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and the share button and also the subscribe button so you won't miss out on any videos in the future.